Hey there, Charlie. Or should I say Mr. Charlie? You know you got the promotion, man. Don't sweat it. Uh, thanks, man. I mean, you've got just as much of a chance as I do. Sure, Charlie. You might see that. But uh, I know my work ain't getting noticed around here this time. I have been trying to get Mr. Bonner to recognize my work, but you know, I only do a small part. Yeah, well. Hey, guys. You ready? Let's do this. Can you get the door? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you. Okay. So I assume uh, you both know why you're here, right? Oh, yes, sir. It's about the promotion, right? Uh, yeah, yes, it is. Um, as you both know, I'm opening a assistant manager position so that one of you can help me run the new branch of stores real well so and keep it going. And wow. Uh, Congratulations, sir. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now. Um, you're both very good workers. You bring a lot to the table. You're creative and do a, heck, uh, a lot of work for good work for the company. But that being said, one of you goes well beyond the norm and it helps uh, puts in that little bit of extra that makes my job a lot easier. And I just wanted to thank you, Charlie. Sorry you didn't get the job. Maurice, uh, you got it. That's great, Chris. You nailed it. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, you're looking a little wor worried there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was a little nervous. No, but, you, you know. Don't worry. Don't sweat it, man. I did. You got it. You had it in the bag all along. Uh, Charlie, you can uh, go and get back to work. Thanks for applying. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, by the way, uh, close those damn blinds in the conference room, yeah? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Thanks, Charlie. Babe, what is it? You need in? Yeah, I gotta go now. Hurry up! Jeez, can I get a moment's peace? Makeup, it better freaking cook up. Okay. Okay. Eh, he won't notice. He won't notice at all. It's too stupid to notice anyway. Hey, baby. Uh, what do you want for dinner tonight? You think spaghetti okay? <sighs> Charlie! Can she leave me alone for one fucking minute? Shit! Jeez, I'm sorry. God. Look at how much she hates that. No, I'm just wondering if uh, spaghetti is going to be okay for dinner tonight. Uh, I don't fucking care. I don't feel that good anyway, so I guess it's fine by me. And what's the matter, baby? Are you sick? No, no, I'm just, I'm just tired and stuff, you know? 
Well, let me tell you about my day. Wait, can we talk about that later? I have a headache and I just don't feel good. I'm gonna lay down till dinner's ready, okay? Okay, yeah. Well, I'll call you when the food's ready, okay, baby? Fine. Oh, did you buy me that wine I told you to get me? Uh, no, baby, I'm sorry, I completely forgot. I'll get it for you tomorrow for sure, though. Promise. Fine, okay, Charlie. I'll just, I'm just gonna lie down. You know that assistant manager position I was up for at work? Remember, it was just me and that loser Maurice? Yeah, okay. Well, I didn't get it. Cool. Sorry. Maurice got it. I mean, he's gonna be assistant manager. I mean, he's alright, but you don't know how many times I had to cover for him or pick up his slack. Yeah? So you're still thinking everyone at work has it out for you? I hope not. I mean, I'm sure that's not what it is, but I just, I hope that's not the reason. Or... Hey babe, um, coming to bed? I'll be in a little bit later, Charlie. Is that okay with you? I'm having a conversation with Debbie right now. Is that okay with you? Is it okay that I'm talking to one of my friends? Huh? Because if it's not, I'll hang up, I promise. Just for you. No, it's fine. It's just we'll, we'll, we're having breakfast tomorrow with my parents, remember? <sighs> That's right. Okay, well, in that case, I'll hang up and I'll be in later. Cool? Okay. Good night. I love you. Good night. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that was fucking. Yeah, well, that's the way it goes, I guess. <laughs> oh, hey, I have another call. Okay, gotta go. Okay, bye. Hello? Hey there, Johnny. <laughs> How's my baby doing? <laughs> no, he's asleep right now. Yeah, I'm just here in the living room. Well, I was talking to Terry, waiting for you to call. <laughs> okay. I don't know, he wants me to go with him to eat breakfast with his parents tomorrow morning or something. I, don't, I still don't want to go. Yeah. Why don't you come over instead tomorrow while he's away? <laughs> yeah. He can't make me do a damn thing. <laughs> yeah. I'll just sleep in and I'll give you a call when he's away and you can come over. We can finish what we started today. <laughs> yeah. Okay then. I'll give you a call so you'll be ready. <laughs> yes. 
I'll definitely be ready for you. Yeah. Oh, baby, please. I need you so much. Okay. Bye. Good night. I love you too. this morning you're gonna crash on the barrel head son you'll regret the things that you've done one of these days you're gonna rue all the messed up things you do you're gonna die the way you and the way you drink, you like a river about the falls. Not much fun. You're gonna crash on the barrel head, son. You're gonna wake up in your shoes. Hey, baby, you awake yet? Yeah, hey, no, um, what's it called? Um, I was able to reschedule breakfast with my parents, so it's gonna be a lunch now, so throw some clothes on, okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm on my way home right now. I'll be there in a few minutes, though. Yeah, no, uh, no, I went in and I got you that bottle of wine that I forgot to get you yesterday, so. Yeah, I went to the Whole Foods Market, but, you know, I love doing it. You know, I, I wanna make you happy and buy you things. Come on. Okay, well, I'll be there in a few minutes, though, okay? All right, miss you. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm I'm sorry man I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry bud I I'm sorry Ava, baby, I've already rescheduled once. We're gonna be late. I know, I know, I'm going.
shelter. You don't, don't do that. anything, though. Oh, my God. Come on. I'm the one that buys all the food, I'm the one that works and actually buys you all your clothes and your highlights and all that. Come on! So what? So fucking what? You're so concerned about how everyone perceives you, you don't even know who you are yourself. What? Why is it so fucking hard for you to understand that everyone thinks you're a bitch? I mean, you sleep in today, you make me reschedule breakfast with my parents. Always with your parents! Damn it, Charlie, I'm sick and tired of putting on this grand show. But we're the happy couple and everything's so great. When you know things suck right now. It sucks? Yeah, it sucks. No, no, oh, baby, you, you know I'm in love with you? Come on. I just want you to be as much of a part of my life as possible. I'm not trying to put on a show for anyone. Come on. I just think today you were being really mean. Well, that's what you're gonna get when you take me out somewhere I don't wanna go. Well, then, damn it, tell me you don't wanna go so I spare you the fucking effort! I never did wanna go! <laughs> and I never will wanna spend all day with you and your fucking stupid ass parents, okay? I just hate it, Charlie! Well, then, why didn't you marry me? Huh? Why? What have I done for you to treat me so fucking bad? I mean, I support you, I love you, I just. Oh, okay. Here we go with the guilt trip. Save it, Charlie! I don't fucking care! Well then why are you still here? Why don't you just go? Huh? What have I done for you to treat me like some useless, stupid pet that you just use and not even love back? Huh? You know what? Yes, Charlie, it's all about you! Always about you! What? You're not gonna make me feel pity for you. Go on, cry! And you ask me why I'm still here, huh? You ask me why I'm still here. I'll tell you why, because, because I'm really not a teacher.
Hey, Danny. Hey. Hey, Ritter there. Use your time wisely. You think some applications are on town today? Hello? Hey baby, what's going on? Oh baby, I miss you. Uh, me too. Can't wait to see you today. Yeah, I know. I hate having to uh, you know, work around the schedule to see you. You know, I've been thinking about you a lot. Oh yeah? Yes. I think how I truly do love you. And I don't know. When I look into your big, beautiful brown eyes, <laughs> I feel like we have this real tight connection or something. I wish I can look into those eyes every single day. I wish it were you I was waking up to every morning instead. You know, I cook you some delicious breakfast, like pancakes or something. <laughs> and I set your clothes out for work. Then, we would shower together. <laughs> I'd be sure to send you to work a happy and satisfied man, if you know what I mean. Of course you do, baby. Uh, hey, look, why don't you just uh, get all this stuff, you know, come down, meet me at the hotel, and uh, yeah, we'll get down to business. Okay, then. Um, I'll be there in the next few hours or so. Um, I love you, baby. Think of me. I'll see you soon. Bye.
Hey, Charlie. Oh, hey, Maurice. Oh, funny, Charlie. I already told you it's Mr. Bixler. Get it right. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Um, sorry, Mr. Bixler. Yeah. Like I was saying, if you think this looks like a lot of work, uh, keep daydreaming. We have a lot of files to go through. You may not want to go home. Here we go. You know, since I've been promoted, uh, we're looking for some bum to fill in my old position. Until then, you're going to have to pick up some of the slack. Hey, Mo, what's up? You ready for lunch? Yeah, we're up. I, I know this great place where the waitress is. <laughs> Damn. You know? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's... Charlie, stay busy. We need those done today. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. She understand what any time minutes is. That's weird. Let's see who you are, Miss Unknown Number. Hello? Hello? Who's this? You call me, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just, I was expecting a woman. It sounds like you need a woman. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I'm just, uh, I have this unknown number on the phone bill, and I was just trying to figure out who this is. Look, I don't know you, man, okay? I'm sorry, man. Well, it's because this is my wife's phone. Hey, go fuck yourself, loser, right? Go fuck yourself. Well, man, sorry, man. I'm just trying to understand. Understand this, motherfucker. <sighs> what? What the? Go fuck myself. Fuck you! Tough day. Yeah. You know, out there, 
using my car, using my gas. What? Oh, come on, Eva, don't act dumb. You know how expensive gas is right now? And you're out there using the car that I bought, using the gas that I bought, and I know you didn't put in applications. You're probably out there with your stupid girlfriends wasting my money. I'm the one that's buried under pile and pile of work raising money for us. For us. Charlie, what's this all about, huh? I'll tell you what it's about, dear. It's about your fucking phone bill, huh? I saw an unknown number you spent all your fucking minutes on. What, you didn't know? Huh? It's right there. Whose fucking number is that? Wait, wait, you went through my fucking mail? My mail! Oh, come on! It said late notice. Who's the fucking idiot that's getting up paying for it? Whose number is that, huh? All the fucking shit to put up with, Charlie. I don't need this from you. I don't need it. I can make a life my own <laughs> without you. Whose fucking number is that? Whose number is on that fucking phone bill, huh? Who you been calling? Your fucking lover? You're fucking someone else, aren't you? Look at yourself! You and your fucking goddamn jealousy, Charlie. You can't even fucking see straight. You're so irrational, right? Oh, I can right. see clearly now. Huh? You think you can do anything without me? Fucking leave and try. Huh? You depend on me. I'm sick and tired of this fucking crap. Huh? You know what? And what about you, Charlie? Huh? What about you? You can't even satisfy me as a man anymore. You know what? Sex with you is like fucking humping some lifeless log, huh? <laughs> you know what? Most of the fucking time I have to think of someone else just to get off. You know what? Fuck you! You know what? You sit there all high and mighty. Yeah, you do. Think you're all fucking badass. When you know if I fucking left you your fucking house of cards that you fucking built for your family just to fool them, will come crashing down. You little fucking faggot, look at yourself! Fuck you! Huh? I fucking gave you your fucking lifestyle. Everything that you eat, everything. Fuck you, okay? Yeah, huh? Fuck you! Get off of me! Fuck you! Uh, just fuck uh, off me, you fucking angel! Uh, you never fucking touch me, don't you ever fucking touch me! I don't need this shit from you. I never did, I never will. You fucking eat your fucking home cooked shit by yourself, fucking Charlie. I fucking hate you. I wish you were dead. I fucking hate you. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, oh my god. I'm so sorry I blew up on you like that. Please. Go away. What did you do with you right now? Just let me explain why I'm so upset, please, I please. I don't care, you made your point, I'm going to bed. Emma, please, I'm sorry. I'm... Fuck you! Fucking hate you! Baby, baby, can you please let me in? I'm wearing the same clothes from yesterday. Can you please let me in just to change? I gotta go to work. Baby, please, I am so sorry, baby. Please, just let me in. I gotta go to work, okay? But I love you. I'll see you later on tonight, though, okay? I'm sorry, baby. Hi. 
Oh shit, I just had it out with Charlie. <laughs> just like you said I would. <laughs> I need you. I need you. Please come, baby. I need you so much. He hit me. He hit me. He hit me last night. And I don't know what to do. And then I went to bed crying thinking of you. And how much better I'd have it with just being with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll be here. Okay. See you soon. What happened, baby? Tell me everything. Tell me everything. So what happened, baby? Tell me everything. Tell me everything. No, it's just that I came home last night and then he started leaning into me about how he supports me and that I couldn't live without him. It's just a bunch of bullshit. And then we got into this huge fight and then he throws me to the ground and he slapped me, baby. He slapped oh. me. No, 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 no. Not, not to my baby. Not to my baby. You know what? Fuck Charlie. He's blind. He can't see you're not in this relationship anymore. I mean, you're mine. He's just living a shell of a life. I love you. With all my heart. Come here. You know, we do this, and my husband's bit, and it doesn't seem wrong at all. It's like, when he sits next to me, I just, ugh, I just try and creep away as far as possible from him, but with you, I just can't seem to get close enough. Why don't you just leave the bastard, Ella? <sighs> when you get married into his family, it's just not that easy to get out. I mean, you've been so worthy, and he knew it, but only now does it have any significance. His family was just so overbearing and so interested in our life that I just can't. They push me away from them, and I feel like their hatred of me could really affect me. Plus, you know, we have our friends who, they all have their happy relationships, and and they tell me how much they're so in love. And I lie. I lie and I tell them the exact same thing. But I know it isn't true. I'm trapped, Annie. I'm trapped. I created this. I built these walls. And now I'm trapped in own creation. You know? And I hate it. I hate it. I hate him so much. Eva, you need to be with me. I mean, this is right. Exactly what we're doing right here. This is the only thing right in my life. I will do anything. Anything to be with you. I know, Danny. It's just not easy. What with the pressure from his family and his friends and just the overall crap we built, it just... Well, what if I had a solution? A foolproof plan you know, to get him out of our lives forever. Would you be interested in that? Yes, but what? Okay, well, you hate him, right? Ugh, fucking hate him. I really do hate him, baby. Okay. Well, hear me out, okay? Check it out. I know this guy. He stays in my hotel sometimes. And, well, 
the other night we're having a couple of drinks and he started telling me about what he does mm -hmm. and at first i really didn't believe him but after he started to like describe some of the things it, it, it was it was chilling i mean he's a hitman and, and i know i know i know i shouldn't talk to him but i mean he's a client right so we're talking having drinks and uh he made a business proposition he said if i let him use mm -hmm. My hotel, you know, so he mm -hmm. can start a business here in town that he'll make me one of his partners. And of course, of course, I said no way, but only to the partner part. And he asked, what I, what would I accept for a trade? I said, kind of half jokingly, <laughs> like, well, next time I need, you know, someone taken care of to give me a modest rate on it. Well, he right. completely agreed to it. I have a baby. I love you. Let's use this on charging. We'll make it look like an accident. No one will ever know. And you'll be free. Free to be with me. Charlie Steph will be our beginning. I don't know. I mean, shit, Danny. That's a lot to take in. But well, I hate him. But but what? You're going to stay with him? A man you don't love? A man that hits you? I know you, Eva. I know you'll, you'll stay in this relationship and just waste away your life. Let me do this for you. For us. Do you promise to love me forever, baby? Never, ever leave me or betray me. I will be the man in your life, Eva. Let me do this. Okay. Okay. But first thing, though, I want to be involved. Set up a meeting between us so I can meet him personally. I want to give him the reasons for this happening. I mean, sure, but I really don't think he'll care. I do. Please just have him call me here today and I'll set up a meeting with him and then we'll go from there. Oh, you won't regret this, baby. He's going to open up our future together. We'll just get some things together, maybe okay. at the hotel. And I'll call my guy. We'll set up a meeting. Mm -hmm. I love you so damn much. I love you too, Danny. Oh. Hello? Yes, this is Eva. Yes, I'm Danny's girlfriend. Right. Okay, Album Park. 3.30. By the playground? Okay, yes sir. Um, I'll be wearing a blue shirt. Okay then. What's up, Charlie? Hey. How's it going? Oh, I'm fine. These files just, you know, keep coming. Yeah, they do that. Well, listen, uh, our budget around here is getting a little bit tighter. And I was looking through the, through the documents and our budget, and I found a place where we can make some pay cuts. I know this isn't easy to hear, Charlie, but we're going to have to cut your pay. But, Mr. Bot, I... What, Charlie? What? There's a bunch of recent college graduates out there who would love to get on this job for half your salary. If you're not willing to do this, do this for us, I can give them one of your jobs. You're not irreplaceable. So what's it going to be? Stay on board or jump ship? No, I'll, I'll stay, sir. sir. Good. That's what I want to hear. 
so uh, we just adjusted the pay, and it'll be on your next uh, check stub. Just look, go ahead and look for it on there. Keep up the good work, man. I'm kind of nervous about this. Are you sure he's legitimate? No, of course I trust you. Yeah, I just came early trying to let my nerves settle in a bit before I meet him. I don't want to seem frazzled when he gets here and make him think I'm some sort of narc or something. Oh, baby, I, I gotta go. Bye. Hello. Hello. Are you Eva? Yes, I am. Are you Danny's friend? No, I wouldn't say we're friends, we're more like associates. Tell you what I do? Yes, sir, you made it very clear. Don't call me sir, it makes me feel like my old man. Huh? I think just a little bit of a humor. Come on, let's take a walk. Let's get out of here. Okay. So I got here a little earlier than I told you to, but um, I just thought we'd get the specifics out of the way first. Oh, it's really no problem. Um, so, what do we need to discuss? You just need to tell me what you want me to do, and I'll tell you how I'm gonna do it. That's it. You wanna know why I want my husband killed? <sighs> if you don't mind, I have kind of a morbid curiosity about these types of things, you know? <laughs> so direct. Well, it's complicated. I don't love him anymore. I hate him. It makes me sick every time I talk to him. And his family is so horrible. Oh. No, I can't stand them. And, you know, he hit me. He fucking hit me. And I had to ask myself just who the hell this guy thinks he is. Hmm. All right. I'll do it. It only costs you $5,000. What you need to do is you need to get the money from Danny today. I also need to get a key to your house. And I also need you to not, to not be there all day today. Up until May 6, 6.30. What time does your husband get home? Generally around 5.30 in the afternoon. Okay, perfect. So what I need to do is I need to have a key to your house. I also need you to establish a solid alibi until 6, 6.30. Okay? I'll let myself in for the first few hours. When he comes home, I'll surprise him. And I'll do the deed. How... How will you do it? You really want to know? Yes, I have a morbid curiosity about this kind of stuff, too. I get it. Well, <clears throat> let's just say it's going to look like an accident. Don't worry about that. I'll make sure that uh, it looks like no nothing funky went on. You got to get home. You got to find him dead. You got to call the police. Uh, put on a show for him. He'll be dead. He'll be buried. He'll be out of your life. And so will I. Okay? How does that sound? <laughs> Sounds like I imagined it. Okay. Okay. Here's the key. And I'll get with Danny about the money. Um, where should I leave it? Any closets? Yes, of course. Okay. Put it in a briefcase. Put it inside a closet, the one nearest to the front door. You can trust me. When well, Denny does, so everything is going to be okay. All right? Very well, then. Uh, can I get your name? No. Have a great life, Eva.
Oh, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up, Charlie. Come here. Sit down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? What, what are you doing in my house? Sit down. Uh, okay. Okay. There you go. It's got you comfortable, huh? Many for your taste. I went ahead and uh, served myself a drink. Hope you don't mind. Uh, no, it's, it's fine. Take take whatever you want, please. This is delicious, though. What is it? I read the label on the bottle, but I forgot. Um, it's it's Jim Beam. Oh, delicious. So how was work? How's your work look? was fine. Well, no, I mean, you know, and the workload's pretty heavy. Too much for you to handle? Sometimes, but I get by. I mean, how do you know that? It's, it's okay. I'm just trying to make you feel a little more comfortable. Thanks, I guess. Charlie, my name is Francis. I know a lot about you and Eva. Eva, wait, what does she have to do with this? You know, it's pretty funny because she has a lot to do with this, but I digress. Remember a few days ago, you were driving, saw a bomb on the street, you had some money, blew away. Yeah, it, it was an accident. Believe it or not, I am that bum. Or I was, or, you know, whatever. And then I followed you. I saw where you turned. I found your car, I saw your house, I saw your door, and it was open. I'm not gonna lie to you, my intention was to hurt you. And then I walked in and you were having a conversation with your wife and at that point I had no idea what I wanted to do. My intentions switched from one second to the other. So I hid in your closet. And I've been there, and I've been living there for the last few days. And you guys have put on a show, man. I've been your audience. I'm greatly interested in Charlie. I'm gonna admit I'm, I'm a little bit infatuated with her. And I've been seeing you day after day with Eva. Relationship is just the worst, man. I mean, she's a fucking bitch. Am I right? Hey, man, say, say what you want, but leave her out of this. Out of this? She's involved in this big time. What? It's killing you, isn't it? I'm gonna tell you. Before I tell you, though. Don't judge me, just listen. Your wife paid me $5,000 to kill you and to make it look like an accident. You're fucking crazy. Maybe, but not about this. I was listening in on her and her lover talking one day after they were having sex. No, no stop it! 
I'm not gonna hear this. Take what you want, but get out, please. Oh yeah, that's right, you don't know about it. Well, apparently, he is very well off. He works at a hotel or something, and she's been fucking him for God knows how long. And they had sex multiple times before. So the last time that they talked after we're having sex, they, that's when they brought up the attempted murder. No. Fuck you. I know we have problems, but she loves me. Just, just please just get out. You want to tell you, I leaving, uh, it's not going to help anything. Believe it or not, I'm here to help. Help who? Yourself? Yeah, in a way. Sorry. I don't want to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. I love you. I love you. What? I've gotten to know you a lot better than you think, Tyler. And I can honestly say that I love you more than your wife loves you. Damn it, just stop it. You've heard me enough. You just, just fucking kill me or get out! No, Tyler, I'm not going anywhere. I love you. I know that you're a good man, Charlie. And I know that you need genuine love. And I know, I know it in my heart that I can give it to you. Just take the money and go somewhere else. Let her go. Let's get out of this fucking shit hole town, man. Come on. Your fucking wife wants you dead. And I'm here opening up my heart. And all, my, all I'm asking is that you give it a chance. Please. One more proof that you want me dead. I don't need proof. You're fucking crazy. Don't talk like that, Charlie. Come on, let me prove it to you. Are you saying you love me? No. No. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Come on, get out. Let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you. Of the rest of your life. Just remember what the assassin said. Just a few more days putting on a show. Then I'll be out of this family. Out of here. Okay, just go. <laughs> These officers. I just found him like this. I just got home. And I found him lying on the floor. I saw my husband lying on the floor. Please get some help. It's an emergency. Please send someone out here. I need you to do exactly as I say, okay? Okay? I'm just trying to prove my love to you, Charlie. I want you to kiss me. <sighs> as passionate as you can. Okay? I'm just trying to prove my love to you. I want you to feel that burn inside of me. Okay? Come on. Come on. It's okay. I want you to close your eyes. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Close your eyes. I'm gonna close mine. Enter into the next chapter of your life, Charlie.
Heartbreak, old friend, goodbye, it's me again. Of late, I've had some thought of moving in. Of all the many ways a man will lose his home, well, there ain't none better than the girl who's moving on. True love, I knew, thought some of leaving you. Bad thoughts I had when Valentine's were due. Of all the many ways a man will break his heart, well, there ain't none meaner than he pulls his own apart. Valentine the Destroyer, Valentine you belong In the stars where you are always rolling on Cried, I cried, till I couldn't carry on It's a lonely, lonely feeling when your Valentine was wrong It's a lonely, lonely feeling when your Valentine was wrong Well, there ain't none better than the girl.